Hi YouTube, in this video I'll show you how to use the Lightroom app to process your photo as I promised. First, go from the Library tab to the Develop tab so you can view the processing bar as you can see here. So this is the processing bar under Develop tab. So now let's start with the tools. So this is the cropping tool. Uh, if you're not happy with your edges, uh, you can cut them, crop them. But here I'm happy with the result, so I'm not going to do anything with it. This next tool is very important if you want to erase some unwanted details on the photo. Let's say I don't want this red reflection in the glass. I am going to adjust the size and softness of the brush and then erase the red spot by highlighting the unwanted part and there you go. Done. I'm going to reset it because I really like that red reflection. I'm not going to erase it. So the next tool is the red eye tool and in my picture I don't have any red eye sh here so I don't need to use it but if you do have it you can fix it by using this tool. This is the gradual adjustment tool. What it does basically is that it adds gradual effect instead of applying all the setting uh, to the whole picture. So you just add it like to part of it, like maybe if you want to uh, add a diagonal effect or maybe, so I'm just here gonna, gonna increase the exposure. As you can see, it's like add magical effect, I like it. I'm just gonna rotate it because I, I want to uh, make the girl's reflection stand out. As you can see, and shrink it. Yep. So I'm just going to add it only to the upper side of the picture. Mm. Okay. Let me fix the rotation. shrink large you can play with the setting you don't worry if you don't like the setting you can go, always go to the edit and go to the previous uh, setting so I'm just gonna play with the contract see which setting like works for the picture increase it a little bit maybe let's see yep yeah. exposure mm, I think I'm satisfied with the result I'm just going to click done and then I'm ready to go to the next tool. So this tool is like similar to the gradual effect but it just gives a round effect instead of the gradual. So yeah, same, same tool. So the next tool is the brush tool. It's a very awesome tool when you work in portrait. Like I can highlight, you know, uh, the cheeks. I can play with, you can see here I have many options. Like I can even whiten the teeth. I can highlight the cheeks, cheekbone area. I can play with everything. But here I'm just going to use the softened skin and I'm going to play with the brush, maybe enlarge the, the size a little bit. And soften the brush and then I'm gonna even control the amount of the softening uh, or the effect of the brush here I'm gonna just soften the skin and yep there we go the skin is clear and it's a very very cool tool so here we're going to go to the basics box where you have, or after we're done with the tool, so this is the basic bar, I mean box. So here we have the white balance. We can play with the temperature. We can adjust it from custom to cloudy. It's just I'm going to leave it to custom and then play with the temperature. Okay, here comes the artistic, you know, sense in you. If you want to, you know, it, it just have a look at your picture, see what really goes with it, what really, you know, make it stands out. So 
each picture has its own setting. I'm just going to play with the exposure. So this is, as you can see, contrast, like, we'll see how it looks. I'm happy with the edges. It's really burned and you can see the reflection. You can tell it's a reflection. Maybe play with the highlight a little bit, shadow. So this is the, this is basically the white balance box. With the white. So I'm just showing you each, you know, option and what it does to the picture. Here you can add the clarity, it just actually like a high dynamic range effect. You gotta be careful with it. So, yep. Here, uh, the saturation on the vibrance, I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit because I don't really like it to be so like the colors that is like so warm and harsh so I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit and increase the saturation a little bit too okay okay so this is the tone curve box as you can see here the tone it's it's just play with the highlight and light and dark and shadow and here you have this you know you can play with it bring it up bring it down so I, I the difference between it and between the options under the white balance is just add it to the part of the picture here you see light dark shadow highlights it's just everything in detail. You can control everything. Oh no, like bring it down. Default, I keep it like the same. Here you have the colors. You can control each color of the picture. Let me show you. Okay. So you can control the hue, the saturation, the luminance of the color. Each color you can control it. This is very, very awesome. This is why I, why I like Lightroom. Here I can make it warmer. I can make it, you know, cooler. I can increase the saturation of the red color and the lumina luminance. Here I can bring it down. No, no, I don't like it burned. Yeah, can make it shiny. So I'm just showing you, you know, how to be creative with your pictures. Uh, I'm gonna try figure out which color is this. Maybe it's uh, aqua, maybe it's blue. No, it's not aqua. Yeah, it's not changing. It's just the highlighted area of the shirt. No. See, it's very awesome. You can control like all the details. So let's see if it's green. No, I think it's blue. Yeah, see, blue. So I'm just going to make it darker. Let's see, add luminance. No, burn it, burn it. Yeah, I like it now. See, I like to make to make it look darker. So again, I can make the girl stand out too. Here are the split toning. What it does, it controls the highlight color. See, the highlight, it's like now different color. And the shadow color, you can control the shadow color as well. I don't know, there is a window here where I can pick colors, but it's not showing. I don't know, it's creepy, but I'm picking colors right now so yeah I'm just trying to figure out which colors fit my picture and you don't have to use them you know I'm, it's not like a must I'm just playing with the picture I'm just being artistic here 
It's like a painting, you know. Okay, let's see. Blue, 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 blue. I like to make the picture have like a warm and cool colors. Like balance the whole thing. And you can play with the saturation as well. Awesome Lightroom. I'm just going to add, uh, make the shadow look like a little, just bronze or golden. I'm just trying different options too. But I think the golden highlight is, is, is good. It's better. It fits my picture. Uh, play with the saturation. Duh. Let's see. Cool. I think we're done here. We'll increase. Uh -uh. Decrease, increase. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> the next box is the detail box. You can play with the detail. You can sharpen it. Let's say I have a blurry picture here and I want to increase the, you know, I want to make it sharp. So I can increase the sharpening, but you can, you know, pay attention. You'll have a lot of noise, but you can decrease it with the luminance option. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to make it as default. Increase the sharpening a little bit, a little bit. Okay, we're good. And this is the most important box for you if you are a beginner. Lens correction. Okay, so if you are not happy with the rotation of your picture, you can fix it here. Disregard the other options. You just want to play with the rotation and the scale. These are your friends. So I am happy with my picture, but I'm just going to show you. Let's say I'm going to rotate it a little bit to the right I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna have the white edges so I'm just gonna increase the scale so I can cover that so I'm just gonna return it to the default setting because I'm happy with my picture I keep ke telling you I'm happy with, with my picture this is one of my pe best best pictures for real here also you have the lens the netting which uh, I believe adds a dreamy effect to the picture you have it on Instagram as well, but here you don't have the, on Instagram you don't have the wide or exposure effect. Here you can burn it and you can increase the uh, brightening on the edges. And here you can control the size of it. So it's a very cool, cool, cool tool. And there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. Effects is the same thing. It adds a, a vignette effect, but, you know, in more details. And I'm just going to do some retouch before I save, before I save the picture. Let's see. Just final touches, and then we're good to go. I'm just going to show you now uh, before and after. You see? Great effects great transformation. Remember you can be bold and create crazy effects. It's your field. You can play with it. Uh, so here you see copy paste. You can copy the same setting and paste them the same picture if you have like same picture different angle. Here I'm just gonna show you how to export it with your copyright. Just scroll down. You see watermark. You just click. You go to edit watermark. And okay, it's very slow. Just wait for it. It's just this window it's going to appear. Yes, graphic. You have graphic option with which is if you have your logo already designed, you can upload it and save it. And you have the text option. Here I have my logo uploaded already. And you have the text, you have everything. You can control the color, the font, the size, everything. And you can write it right there in this text box. 
Okay, there you go. Play with everything. Save. And then save it. And then just, you know, I'm just going to click and export it. And you can choose which folder. And there you go. I already have it saved. I'm just showing you how to do it. I'm just going to uncheck it because I don't want it to save it with a watermark. Okay, there you go. And next time you have different picture and you want to, you know, export it, you can just go to export, export with previous, and it goes there right away to the same folder with your copyright. You don't have to redo it every time. Awesome. I hope this video was helpful and made Lightroom less complicated. I know the moment you open this app, like there's a lot of tabs, bars, and you freak out and oh my god, it's very complicated, but hopefully now it's less complicated. And remember, Lightroom is a very, very great app with different and many, many, many options and settings that I did not cover. So next time you can be bold and discover these options. But here, like, we covered, you know, pretty much uh, the basic and major important things when you walk into the live room. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. And watch my previous video. It's also about photography and you're going to like it. Now, goodbye.